What's going on, Scott here, and I have this Mac Store um, Mini. What did they call it? Okay, so I have this Mac Store One Touch Mini um, portable hard drive that I had back in high school, and it is not recognized by my computer. And I've literally tried everything, so we're gonna try to disassemble it. And then I actually have um, a USB 3.0 SATA hard drive converter. So I'm going to try to hook this up to my laptop and see if I can recover the data. So like, as I said, uh, I got this back in high school, so all of my files since high school, I mean like, I stopped using it at one point because it's USB 1.0, but I just turned 29 and I was kind of curious to see like, what pictures I had in high school and uh, it is not accessible, like it, it, it spins and the light turns on, but it doesn't get recognized by anything and I've tried. Windows XP computer, Windows 7 computer, and a Windows 10 computer. Nothing has recognized it, so um, this is kind of my last ditch effort to see if I can even get any files off of here. Um, I found an iFixit guide on how to disassemble it. I'll link that in the description, but uh, I'm gonna... They said to use a flathead. I have these, like, dental tools. Um, I'm gonna see if I can pry it. It's not, like, screwed together or anything. Uh, there's just, uh, it's just like kind of wedged together. So you just gotta pop it, pop it apart. Um, so let me get in between here. See if I can, yeah, you can hear it popping out. Just coming apart nicely so far. Oh, that was way easier than I thought. So, got the top of the case off. Looks like that. And we got into the meat and potatoes. So, um, I don't, I mean, I think it's just kind of floating in here, honestly. Yep, so that kind of just came off. And then the bottom. Part of the case came off, and uh, we're left with this fun stuff. Okay, so these aren't Torx; these are actually just Phillips heads. So I'm gonna go get um, Phillips head screwdriver, get this nonsense off, and then see if we can connect it to my laptop. All right, so we're back at it. Um, I got the Phillips head screwdriver. I was gonna get a shot glass, but I forgot. So we're gonna have to make sure we don't lose. These Phillips head screws, oh, I got a double zero screwdriver, Phillips head, and got one machine screw out. I ran up and down the stairs and I'm clearly out of shape, so. Huh. I don't want to strip it, so double zero, or just a single zero is too small, so. I'm gonna get this shot glass and a little bit bigger screwdriver. All right, so I got a bigger screwdriver on um, a shot glass and I'll put that screw in there. Hopefully this does a trick. Man, that's really in there. Not getting enough torque. There we go, okay. So, um, one of the screws was really torqued down. So, took a little bit bigger handle to be able to twist it off. So, theoretically, this should just come off. Okay, so we got this, this shield off. Set that to the side. And then we got this weird daughter board um, that has the LEDs on it and stuff that's like connected to the SATA port. I think it's just slid on there. Be honest so should be able to just disconnect it like so so we got that off which I think is causing the issues because the drivers are probably just gone and we got the hard drive how we want it so I'm gonna move over to the computer and see if it connects so I'm just gonna slide this bad boy on right here where they took the daughter board off and then see if it connects. 
All right, so if you're curious on how a SATA adapter works, so this is a USB 3.0 SATA adapter. Um, it just slides right on the contacts right here, like so. And then you can just use the cord and plug that in here. This is the 3.0, USB 3.0 cord. Just plug in like that, and then now we can connect it to our laptop and see if we can recover any files. All right, so I'm over to my computer. I have the um, USB 3.0 to SATA converter on the hard drive, and the one touch shows up on this PC, and it is copying over 24,000 files um, to uh, portable hard drive that isn't messed up so it is at one percent complete two percent complete now I mean we're working against uh, something that was set up for USB 1.0 to uh, <laughs> transfer data so the the read write speed on this is probably absolute garbage compared to what we have today especially with solid state so, uh, if you were trying to recover d files off of a one-touch portable hard drive like me, I hope this helped, and enjoy.